Can you guess what every woman's worst nightmare is? <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you about um, a common theme between an education and a promising young woman. Both of them deal with characters who are underestimated, a large part because of their outsides. I was wondering if that was something you could relate to, maybe not because of your outsides, but in any aspect. That's such an interesting question. Um, and I certainly think that that's the case with Cassie, which, which is very much intentional that, you know, she, this is somebody who is trying to look like someone who functions very well. Um, I don't know. I think it's sort of, as you come up in the industry, I think, particularly as a sort of 18 year old, 19 year old actor, I think you definitely have to take a while to find your voice. Um, and and so in that sense, I think, you know, it probably took a good, probably nine or 10 years to feel um, like I could sort of really sort of represent myself in the way that I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I mean, there, there, there's a sort of running theme there. And I think also, you know, Cassie is somebody who is um, is deliberately trying to set expectations low for herself. Um, Emerald always says that, you know, somebody who has a multicolored candy um, manicure seems very unthreatening. She's not somebody who's gonna destroy your life. So this all, it's all a deliberate act on her part to, to feel like somebody who can't do any, can't and shouldn't really be paid much attention to. One of the other themes of the movie is, um, maybe seeing a friend in trouble and thinking they're okay. Mm. I was wondering if that was something uh, that you tend to lean into. If you see someone, do you give them their privacy or do you mm. go and say, come on, do you need some help? It's so delicate. I'm, re I'm a real talker. I'm a real sort of, yeah, I'm, perhaps to a fault, I sort of want to know what's going on with people. Um, and a huge advocate for sort of therapy and talk and people, you know, being open. And um, so I tend to go in straight away with, are you all right, what's going on? Let's talk about it, come over, let's have a cup of tea, you know, <laughs> and um, then they and leave them with very little choice. I think that's a, a great tool to do. Um, let's explore the title, hmm. A Promising Young Woman. Uh, so often we are confined by others' expectations mm. and going into acting, it's not a traditional choice. Have you ever felt restricted either in your choice to go into acting or in any other way? And how do you pass that on and protect yourself? Um, I don't know if I have really. I mean, I've been so, I, you know, in what sense? How do you how do you mean? So I don't know well, I think sometimes people give conditional love. Mm. Um, if you become a doctor, mm. we will love you. You don't mm. become a doctor, mm. Mm, you're a bit of a failure uh, yeah. as your character. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, um, I've been incredibly lucky to um, to have such solid support. Um, on all fronts from my whole family and all my friends. And um, so, you know, but things also worked out so so nicely and not to say they wouldn't have been had things not gone that way, but I do think, you know, a huge amount of our, of my, you know, work and of my career does come down to sort of having been in the right place at the right time to get the right first job, to get the right second job. And I, there's not false modesty. I really do believe that there are, you know, an infinite number of very talented people, but there are a, a finite number of opportunities. Um, and a lot of those opportunities are restricted to people of, you know, middle class, white backgrounds, um, public school, particularly in the UK. Um, so the opportunity for so many people isn't there. Um, and so I feel constantly sort of aware of, you know, the privilege of how easy it was for me to get into the industry and stay there. Um, when I think, you know, comparably talented, if not infinitely more talented people have, have such a hard time for so many other reasons. Um, so yeah, I've always just felt very lucky to come to work. That's a lovely point you highlighted, but on the other side, a lot of talented people always say they're very lucky. 
<laughs> and I'm not sure that that's the reason they're where they are. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Lovely to talk to you. You too.